If you're on the run from the police, you probably should not post pictures of yourself on Facebook. And if you want to lie about your identity, you'd better not have your tattoo on your arm with your real name. Lessons that a murder suspect learned the hard way. CBS 4's Aralia Ortega live at Miami Dade Police Headquarters with this wild story. Aralia. Rick, authorities say they had trouble tracking down this murder suspect in part because they didn't have a picture of him because he came here illegally from Jamaica. But that all changed last year when he started posting pictures of himself on Facebook. This tattoo of a musical symbol is one of the clues that helped law enforcement officers in Connecticut arrest 21-year-old Danae Washington Gordon for murder. The family of 73-year-old Neville Smith is grateful that the man accused in his death has been caught. And I just had faith that one day, you know, justice will, justice will prevail. And it just makes me feel good that, you know, my dad wasn't forgotten. What happened wasn't forgotten. According to police, Gordon killed Smith, who was his caretaker, using a metal cooking pot inside this Northeast Miami Dade home in April of 2013. This after the victim reportedly confronted Gordon about his behavior and drug use. Hopefully now we'll be able to get some, un some answers to several questions that we have. Gordon is from Jamaica and the Fugitive Task Force tracked him down in Hartford, Connecticut, thanks in part to the pics he posted. There's a large Jamaican po uh, population on the north side of Hartford, so we believe that he was hiding out in that area. Last week, a U.S. deputy marshal spotted Gordon as he pulled his car alongside Gordon while he was riding his bike. Lo and behold, Mr. Gordon has a specific music note tattooed on his right hand. Once stopped by authorities, officials say Gordon gave a fake name and had no fingerprints on file since he came here from Jamaica. We knew certain tattoos, and then we discovered that he had the tattoo Danae, his first name, tattooed on his body. The victim's daughter is grateful. Law enforcement never gave up trying to solve her father's case. I love my dad with all my heart. I'm always going to love my dad. Gordon is charged with second degree murder. He's being held in Connecticut and is awaiting extradition to Miami. Reporting live from Miami Dade Police Headquarters, Aurelia Ortega, CBS 4 News Tonight.